So King, your plane ready to go? Sure thing. Let's do this. What was that? I don't know. Maybe Kenzie's butts in with the line. Do me a favor. Get everyone to Kenzie's place. They'll be there soon. Working for the Syndicate was a great job. That is, until Philippe Loren died, because Kilbane was one scary psychopath. I mean, I watched him kill Kiki right in front of me, and right in front of her own sister. So I went after the Saints instead. Wrong choice on my part, but they let me live. And surprisingly, so did Kilbane. Only option then was to leave the country and hide. I'm not late to the briefing, am I? We haven't started yet. I'm waiting on Miller. Still feel bad about punching Matt in the face. He'll get over it. Or he'll kill me in my sleep. That's always a possibility, too. Got what we got, guys. Can we just get to murdering already? We got a problem. Now we're talking. What's up? The Zin are coming. Here? That's probably why he said it's a problem. All right, let's take cover. We should be able to ambush them. Not so sure about that. My superpowers. The hell did they find us? I don't know. Who cares? Let's just kill them. <laughs> oh, Kinsey's recording this. Hey, we gotta go. There's too many of them. There's a helicopter on a nearby roof. We can use it to get everyone to safety. Everybody follow me! Matt and I will head out on our own. We what? Take care of your people. We'll catch up. Fine! Before we do anything, we need some breathing room. Let's take out those tanks.
Check it out, a UFO! Oh! I've got you! Oh. Still standing! To the roof! Pierce and I will hold him here. Just get everyone else to safety, player. We got this! Whoa, why are we running? I'm down for some murder. Ben says he has a plan. We need to lose this heat and then- Whatever the plan was, it went out the fucking window. We need to focus on surviving. Pierce and Ben are getting into that car. Let's cover them. On it. We're under attack. Look, a UFO. Get ready. Damn, I'm good. The center flying in. Still got Kinsey, where to? Okay, um, hold on. I'm scanning. Scan fast. Yo, these Zen have some high-tech shit. What's their arsenal like? Oh, the Zen have all kinds of cool stuff. I wish I could get into their armory and see what they're prototyping. They even have murder bots. Murder bots? Uh, that's my kind of household appliance. Yep, 
I did that. to find a safe place for Pierce and Ben to go. Hey, We're not going to my place. Kinsey's recording this. for us to... Oh, no! We're going down! Everybody, hold on! <laughs> Everyone okay? We walked away, right? Oh, look, a cat. Is this a pet store? A cat? Fuck, of all these. Seriously? Super ethical reality climax. Who names this shit? Where to now? Doesn't matter. The Zin just found us. Kenzie, find us a way out. On it. Ooh, is that a killing floor? Merry Christmas to me. Uh-oh. Kinsey, what uh-oh? Boss, the game is on. It started by itself. I can't shut it down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. Shit. Floor is active and the doors are locked. Nobody gets out. Including us. Until that is, the contestants rack up enough points to fill the murdometer. Shit, I'm down. Let's do this! Just that good. You seeing these guys? Look at all the contestants today! And all new targets as well. The Zen Empire have taken it upon themselves to face the challengers. Truly, a bold move on their part. You're not kidding. The Zen are the fiercest opponents in the universe, Bobby. They should be a tough fight for the Saints. Yes, indeed. The Zen are falling before the might of these contestants. They sure are. Look at how they're mowing down the opposition. Goes to show you how much having a team behind you can really come in handy. <laughs> I wish we had a team behind us. What we have is the love and support of Zinyak. What else could we possibly need? <laughs> Nothing at all, Bobby. Nothing at all. Just a little bit longer. Look, 
Professor Genki has entered the arena. It's always a special occasion when the professor takes the stage. Let's watch the master at work. That's Genki, huh? Yeah, he looks crazy. Aim for his big, stupid head. Boss, he's kind of helping us. Die, you fucking man-cat! Good shot by the contestant. Genki's sure gonna feel that one. It takes a particularly skilled player to take on Professor Genki. Especially after facing the considerable might of the Zen Empire. Of which we are required to extol the virtues. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Genki is down. Down, but never out, Zack. So true, Bobby. So true. Is that all? Looks like it. Oh my gosh! What, more of them? Let's get to the prize room! That was fun. They got more games like this in Steelport? Yep, I did that. So where to? You know, I generally don't like getting involved in these things, but this is really exciting. Kinsey, focus. What do we do now? Ben's plan was to overload the simulation. We can still do that, but not if the Zen know our But you can make sure they don't, right? Yes, but I need to get back to the ship so I can find a way to cut them off. Once that's done, it's just a matter of finding the weakest point in the simulation. Get us to a safe spot. Pedal, but why use it? Simulation. Meet you back on the ship. Where's that static coming from? And how did the Zen find us? I thought your hideout was safe, Kins. What the fuck are you doing? They got Kinsey! Boss, the dinner here. What? We were set up. I got out of the simulation. Pierce and King were out cold. The proximity alarm is screaming, and Asha Miller and the vice president are gone. They kidnapped Keith David? And left us sleeping so we get picked up by Zinya. Too bad for them we're awake. What's the plan? You and Gaz secure the doors while I check on Kinsey. We'll get you back, Kinsey. Just 
hang on. You ready? Because we got visitors. Let's clear out the lower decks. We have to hold the room. Fuck that. I'm not waiting for them to come to me. President. What the hell? We're moving. Why are we moving? Let's get to the bridge. Check the monitors. No need. I have already analyzed our situation. Shit, I forgot Mr. Deix Ex Machina was even on the ship. A Zin transport has attached itself and is dragging us toward what I assume is certain doom. So what can we do about it? If I were you, I would deal with the strange heat signature by the cargo bay first. Cargo bay? Fuck! Let's go! Is you okay? Everyone's fine. The Zin grabbed me and... Hey, Sid said something about heat signatures? One of them put a device on the wall. I'm not sure what it is. We got bombs over here. Bombs? Yeah. And they're set to blow. You thinking what I'm thinking? Shandy, go back to Kenzie and the rest. Gat, let's go blow up a spaceship. You got a specific thing you want to blow up, but just shit in general. Kenzie, what's the weakest point in the Zen ship? Yo, boss, Kenzie's... Fuck, I... Look, we'll just find the biggest, glowingest thing on the ship and stick the bombs to that. These Zen sure do make a good argument for murder. Oh, they're nothing compared to their leader. I am gonna enjoy every second of tearing Zenyak apart. Take your time, huh? That sounds like a plan. I get the chance, I'm gonna rip Zenyak's goddamn head off. So where do you think the Zen head kids? I don't know, but when I find Matt and Asha, I'm gonna beat that information out of them. Ooh, good one! Oh. Yo, we got some alien gun over here. Hello, but welcome back, huh, Johnny? Fuck, you were thinking I wanted to go to Hawaii or something? I live for this shit. Shouldn't have fucked with the president!
Large red cylinder, huh? Big and glowy. Looks perfect. Here you go. Let me find something that looks important. This looks important. Let's blow it up. What was that? Yo, these bombs are hotter than we thought. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get in here. Yep, you're still. That wasn't a bad fuck you to Zinyak. Let's get out of here and find Kenzie. Apologized. He's probably been working this angle for a while. Hell, he might have even been the one who tipped off Zinyak about Johnny. Doubt it. Dante said that the lowest circle of hell was reserved for betrayers. But it's important to remember that it's the storyteller who decides who the hero is, not morality. But while philosophers will spend years debating the ethics of the Kinsey Gambit, the Saints had a less charitable view. Keith David is a dead man. 